diseases, and I'm talking multiple sclerosis, I'm talking type 1 diabetes, I'm talking uh, 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 ankylosing spondylitis or arthritis or whatever your flavor of autoimmune diseases, ALS, whatever it is, including lupus, focus on the digestive system. You guys, I know I might, must sound like a broken record, but this is, the ent- this is where the immune system becomes activated. This is where the, uh, the offending agents enter into the body. They don't enter into the body through magical pixies dust. They don't enter into the body through little elves that shoot immune (laughs) triggers into your body. They enter into the body. The only way anything can enter into your body that's not intravenous and that's not being breathed in. The only way anything can enter into the body, or the main way, is through the digestive system. And given the fact that 80% or more of your immune system is your digestive system, it makes perfect sense that if you have any kind of a defensive problem, that's what an immune problem is, including auto immunity, you got a food and digestive problem. So easy to reverse without drugs. Why do you think the doctors give you prednisone for lupus or for autoimmune disease? What is the main treatment for an autoimmune disease? An immune suppressant, something that shuts down the immune system. Now, leaving aside the utter intellectual bankruptcy, pure stupidity of shutting down the immune system, let's just use common sense here. If your doctor is giving you a drug that shuts down the immune system, what does that tell you the problem is being caused by? A hyperactive immune system. That means we got to calm the immune system down. we got to figure out why is the immune system hyperactive, and that means foods and something that's, uh, that, that, has, uh, that is causing a breach in the in, uh, integrity of the intestinal barrier, leaky gut syndrome, so-called, or intestinal permeability syndrome. So number one, focus on problem foods and eliminate those foods. You'll know you have, that you have a problem food by your symptoms, by gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, loose stool, heartburn, any foods that cause those digestive symptoms need to be eliminated. And then the second thing you want to do is start to strengthen the digestive tract and the immune system. Probiotics are a must-have for lupus. Get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence today. Everybody should be on that drug, but especially if you have an autoimmune problem. Digestive enzymes can also be helpful. The ultimate enzymes have anti-inflammatory properties, and they'll also support digestive health and wellness. The Z-radicals, same deal. It'll coat and soothe the digestive system. It'll help stimulate repair of the digestive tract and it also has wonderful immune strengthening properties, the Z-Radical, that is. So get on the Z-Radical, too. Make sure you're using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Not only will you get the vitamin C in a liquid format and the B-complex in a liquid format and minerals in a liquid format, but because it's liquid, it'll bypass any kind of digestive health issues that you may have, and you'll get the benefits of the nutrients without overloading the digestive tract. So focus number one on digestive health and wellness, eliminate problem foods, use immune boosting nutrients that also support digestive wellness, things like the Z-radical and the ultimate enzymes and the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And like with our friend Philip in Texas, you can reverse autoimmune diseases almost immediately. That is, begin to reverse autoimmune diseases almost immediately. In fact, just have your friend stop eating for two days. Just Just fast for two days. Do a liquid fast for two days if they can, and notice, they'll notice that their immune system, immune symptoms and inflammatory systems will improve. I hope that helps, ma'am, and I hope that helps your friend. Anything else you got for us, Jess? Um, Not right now, but that is... Call us whatever you want. That's a ton of info that should make a big difference for you guys, okay? All right, I'll let you go, Jess. Thanks so much for your kind words, too. I appreciate that. All right, uh, Brian in New Hampshire, welcome to the Bright Side. Got about two minutes. What's going on? I'll make it quick. Okay. Um, first thing, adrenal fatigue. Okay. Um, is that is that a real thing? Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It definitely is. The, the adrenal glands are doing lots and lots of work. They're two tiny little glands that sit on top of the kidney, maybe the size of half an almond or so. Really, really tiny little structures, but they do a lot of work. They make hormones, basically stress hormones as well as sex hormones. And when I say sex hormones, I don't mean just for sex. I mean for growth, for reproduction, for repair, for anti-aging. So even though we call estrogen and testosterone and progesterone and DHEA and pregnenolone sex hormones with they really are is growth and repair hormones. They're being made out of the adrenal glands. But so is cortisol, and so is adrenaline. 
That's where the name adrenaline comes from. So if you're under a lot of stress, you're going to find that, number one, you're not growing and repairing and anti-aging as effectively, and number two, you're feeling pooped a lot. You're feeling tired a lot. So here's what you do for adrenal fatigue. And by the way, you can tell you have adrenal fatigue issues if you have insomnia, if you just feel tired but you can't fall asleep, if you wake up in the morning tired. One of the classic signs of adrenal fatigue is something called postural hypotension, which means you change your posture and your blood pressure drops, you feel dizzy or woozy when you get up from a stand, from a sitting position into a standing position, or if you're bending down and you stand up quickly, you feel dizzy, or if you're exercising, you feel dizzy or woozy. All of those, these can be signs of adrenal fatigue. Salt cravings can also be a sign of adrenal fatigue. Number one, for adrenal fatigue issues, first thing, make sure you're practicing your deep breathing. Just that alone can make a huge difference. Slow deep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, and then focus on making sure that breath or the oxygen is going all the way down until lower part of your belly. In fact, when I do my deep breathing, I, I picture my breath going down to my feet, to the, the soles of my feet. I picture my entire body being an, a lung, and uh, I'm breathing with my entire body, and that's a great visual that you can use as you're do, doing your deep breathing techniques that can improve oxygenation. Get on some Celtic sea salt. That can be wonderful for dealing with adrenal fatigue. Vitamin C in the B complex, especially vitamin B12, super important for the adrenal glands. Use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, Zinc, 50 milligrams a day, is also important for the adrenal glands. And, of course, focusing on digestive health and wellness is also important. And blood sugar control is also important, too. So much more to talk about. But that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. And please, click on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at BrightSideBen.com. And join me in my mission to educate the world about the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. We will talk to you all later. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye for now. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. National experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo. A must-be-there event. Presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Here, Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.